homesteading to prepping to common horse sense, we are College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Well, today I've got to get at something that uh, needs doing. Now, my bucket forks on the tractor, uh, I use them all the time as a table, as a work table. But with the old bucket forks, they were just made out of a two by four, okay? So they did really well at being a work table. But these are made of steel. And it creates a problem. Like, let's say I want to lay a sheet of plywood on here and, and cut it. Well, either I have to put wood under these or put wood across this way. Well, that just creates another level of work that I really don't want to fool with. So what I want to do today is... I want to make a sacrificial cover for each one of these. That way if I cut with a saw and I cut a little too deep, I'll just be cutting wood and not be cutting the steel things. So I've got some wood here from the old barn from that I'm going to make a barn out of. If it doesn't rot first, I've got some wood that's in bad shape. So just what it is. Uh, it's to the use it or lose it stage, so I'm going to start using it. Uh, I've got to get started building a new chicken house and a new uh, greenhouse. I don't think I've got enough oomph to get the barn done this, this winter, but I'm going to give a try to get as much done as I can, so that's what we're going to go for. So I need to make uh, just a board that sets here, but if you just put a board on here, it's going to fall off. So I'm going to make something that I can keep from for years that just sets over these and sets still, and then I can use this as a table whenever I want to. So without talking it to death, let's get in the shop and do that. Now that sets the thickness because I don't want this to be sticking down below this. So if I set it on the ground, I don't want this thing to buck up. So. enough blocks so let's get out and uh, see what we can do let's uh, go do a little measure these blocks are going to go on either side okay and then I need to know how thick the top board needs to be Looks like five and three quarter inches. So let's go cut some top boards. Let's see what we got here. See, I've got these over here. Let's see what we've got. That's four and a half. What's this one? 
Oh, that's five and three quarters on the nose. How long is it? Oh, it's over eight feet. So that's good. Because I only have to come out uh, like 45 inches on each side. So this is going to be my top. I've got to cut this top piece so it's 45 inches. Now, the beautiful thing about having a radial arm saw is that uh, you set your angle at the top and you never have to set it again. It's 90 degrees, so if this is pushed flat against this fence, it cuts a 90 degree cut. So I'm going to measure out. I think I'm going to go ahead and do uh, 40, 45 degrees or 45 inches. And I've cut them both identical. Cut the first one here. Now, if I was going to do a bunch of repetitive cuts, I would put a clamp down here so that my distance was identical every time. But I'm not doing a bunch of repetitive cuts. I'm just doing two cuts. Now what this is, this is poplar, okay? I don't want to use oak for the sacrificial part because oak's hardwood and that's cutting hard on your on your saw every time. Poplar's a hardwood, but it's one of the softest of all the hardwoods. So if you cut it, you're not going to do anything to your blade. Of course, the oak won't either, but the oak will bind quicker. All right. Now, in order to get these fixed, and I don't want it to where they won't fit. I don't want to screw up and make it where they won't fit. So I'm going to go ahead and start and just affix one side. Okay? And then I'll go out and I'll mark the other to see where it needs to fit so it fits on my saw thing back there. It fits on my things. So now. I'm going to use this Harbor Freight. Uh, I think I pay you pay a dollar a piece for these. Uh, it's a set of uh, of epoxy. The the it's quick set in epoxy. Now I've used it for a lot of stuff, and I found it to be pretty good. And I'm just going to mix it right here. I'm going to clean this off a little. Now I want the bow, this has got a little bow in it, okay, just a little bit of a bow. I want the bow to be up, so I need these to be down here on the bottom. And I'll go ahead and mix a set right here. Oh. Well, this one oh, is kind of stuck. There we go. It's already been opened, it's been used some. The hardener may be so hard I can't get it out. No, there we go. Now I'll put a bead right there. And a bead right there, and a bead right there, and, and it's just put mix the same amount on each spot. Put a bead there, and there, and there. Now I'll just take a little piece of wood. Let's 
see. I don't know if I'll eat. Yeah, I've got a little piece down here in the floor. I'll just take a little sliver of wood and stir those together. You'll see them kind of turn white. And I'll spread them out a little bit so that they make more contact. And I'll put it the bow out. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to clamp these down. But I'm not going to depend on glue only. Okay? So, we get the air compressor started up. Okay, I've got the compressor fired up. I've got my brad nailer. This is an 18 gauge brad nail. Now, I'm not too worried if I clip a brad nail with a saw. Okay? They're not like hitting a nail. So, I just take it and I'm going to go. Three, four. Put those in, and then uh, I'm going to angle a couple one, to help lock everything in. Now I can take that off. Now I'll let this get on. Freeze on there, but now I've got to put another another block on, but this time I'll put a small block. Okay, we'll scoop this down. And I'm going to put a small block right here. And you saw me cut those. I'm going to put a small block right there. So again, it's back to the Harbor Freight Epoxy, run a bead, and run a bead. Mix them together. Put it right there. Clamp it. Now put some nails in it. Okay, that side's ready. Now all I want to do is take this out to the tractor. See, I've got another block that needs to go right there. And I've got uh, another little block that needs to go right here. Now again, I didn't measure for these, okay? I know I've got five and three quarter inches. So let's see what we've got here. Let's see, I don't know exactly the width of the thing. I need to step out and do that. The width of the bucket forks is three and a quarter. So let's see what we got right here. Have I got three and a quarter between those at the shortest point? If I step it out just a little bit, yes I do. So I can go ahead and put another one of these on. So I'm going to go ahead and get my epoxy. Right. 
Side it. Mix them up. So that they're totally blended. Now let's make sure I got three and a quarter inches, three and a quarter, three and a quarter. Okay. Scoot it out just a little bit. All right, right there. Now I can nail that on. Clamp loose. Now do the same thing with the other end. Put the epoxy on here. hardener Now the acid test. Let's go out and see if it fits. Let's see if it fits. Hey, does it move? Now I'm going to do one other thing. I'm going to make a a place up here that I can just loop a chain around. I want to put that on the video so it'll hold still. Now I've got to make the other one. See, it does move side to side. Okay, it stays on there. Now, if this tilted down, like if your hydraulics failed and it tilted down, I don't want this coming off, sliding off, because it'll slide a lot easier on this metal than it would if it was on the wood to wood. Give you a little more time to get out from under it. So, I want to make it so that these can't move uh, when I put them on. But for right now, they're workable. Okay, two covers. Uh, I'm going to fix a little thing to just loop around this uh, just to hold them so that they'll be still. Uh, 
in case this dips down. You know, it is hydraulic. Hydraulic stuff fails sometimes. Uh, these are going to make life a whole lot simpler. Now, what have I got in them? This is an old piece of rough wood. Uh, the other was scraps that I was probably going to burn. Uh, so, I, I might have a dime's worth of 18 gauge brad nails and a dollar's worth of uh, a dollar's worth of uh, epoxy. Now these are going to serve me for years and years and years. I'll uh, drill a couple holes in them and hang them right here on the side of the barn near my collapsible saw horses. And uh, anytime I want to use the tractor for cutting and sawing and that kind of stuff, I'll just throw these on and it's a go. So, now, if you like this stuff, this homesteading, do-it-yourself kind of thing, be certain to come on out to the channel and subscribe. We do this homesteading stuff every week, sometimes once, sometimes five videos. Just depends on what's going on in the homestead that week. Now, if you hit the little bell when you come to the channel, it'll notify you when we upload a video. We upload every Sunday. Now, some people have said they haven't been getting their notifications. Well, I took off for four months because of my shoulder. So it's possible that you've been unsubscribed some way or your notifications are turned off. Go to the channel, hit the bell, it'll turn your notifications back on. Okay, see you next time.